Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. You know, it's your boy Anime King, and today I'm gonna be giving you part 32 of What If Naruto Went Missing for four years. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends on your social media platform, and also go ahead and check out Anime King 2. And if this is the first time you're hearing of Anime King 2, that's my second channel. I'll be leaving a link at the top of the description and go over there and enjoy. And if you enjoy the lovely what ifs over there, just go click that red subscribe button and be a part of that channel as well. So, I post a new episode of Naruto, the god of shinobi on that channel. And I also post a new episode of what if Naruto got a new bloodline over there. So go and enjoy, yeah guys. And on this channel, I recently post what if Naruto was taken by the Raikage, so go ahead and check out that and enjoy as well. And if you're new to Anime King, what you guys are waiting for, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and be a part of the channel. And thank you for all of your help and your support. And yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the last time we left off was mainly focused on Shikamaru, who came back to the village. With Tala, the demon wolf, as he went to talk to his parents, as Tala wanted to see Naruto's strength against Shikamaru. But instead of Naruto fighting, Sakura decided to face off against Shikamaru. So the last time he left off, Shikamaru transformed into his demon sage mode, where he's now a giant wolf. So yeah guys, you can switch across the playlist and check out the other episodes for yourself. So let's start this new episode. Well, since you're in sage mode, said Sakura, as her entire body then covered with a demon chakra as she was going to do the same. A second later, her fingernails got long as black fur came out of her elbow down and pink fur of her elbow up as her legs were also black and pink. So the rest of her body turned a dark pink color, even her hair, pink turned even more dense as it glistened, as her face pushed out into a sharp muzzle with sharp teeth, as she also got a long fox tail with a white tip as she got taller. Finally, the transformation was done as everyone saw how Sakura had changed, as she went from 5 foot 4. 109 pounds to 61 182 pounds while she didn't have the muscles as shikamaru she looked more female as she also seemed more lighter on her feet faster fox sage mode versus wolf sage mode this should be interesting said tala as both shikamaru and sakura then charge at each other as they clap back their fists and slam their fists in together as their fist was powerful, it sent out a dense wave, as the both of them then jumped back and charged at each other once more and engaged each other in battle. As Sakura tried to kick away Shikamaru's legs, but he stabbed his toe claws into the ground as he did move. Take this, said Shikamaru, as he came down hard upon Sakura, but she jumped out of the way. Shikamaru's fist collided with the ground, as the force behind the punch exploded the ground. Similar to what Sanade would do. Holy crap, said Choji, as he looked at the damage that his friend just did with only one move. As Sakura slowly stood up, with blood running down her right arm, as one of Shikamaru's claws has dig into it a bit. Sakura, said Ren, as she looked at her daughter. Don't worry, said Naruto. As before everyone eyes, the wound heal. But Naruto then noticed something. As Sakura started to shrink down as her fur disappeared and her claws shrink down as she dropped on her knees back into her normal form. Crap, I still can't manage to sustain the sage mode form, she thought. Shikamaru then reverted back to normal as well, but unlike her, he didn't fall to his knees. He stood up. Sakura, let's call it quits, said Shikamaru. No argument here, said Sakura, as Naruto ran through hand signs and the chakra barrier fell. As Naruto went to Sakura's side, you did great, Sakura, Naruto said, 
as he helped her up. I still have a long way to go, said Sakura as she used Naruto for support. Wow, said Ino, as she was still at surprise what her friend and her best friend just become. They're so strong, said Choji. And only after a few months, said Kiba, imagine what they can do when the war come. Very good little boy, said Temari as she walked up to Shikamaru. I still have a long way to go, said Shikamaru, as his parents came beside him. Hello, said Yoshino as he looked at Temari. Hello, said Temari back. As the both of them looked at each other, as if they were sizing each other up in a fight for dominance. Shikamaru and Shikaku could only watch as they waited to see which one of them would blink first. As the both of them then smiled, I can see why my son would like you, said Yoshino. Thank you, Miss Nara, said Temari. Please call me Yoshino, said Yoshino, as Shikamaru smiled when he heard that. As Shikaku then introduced himself to her as well, as Yoshino then invited Temari for all four of them to go out and eat, which Temari accepted, as Shikamaru and Shikaku were shocked to think that the both of them got along so well. Well dad, we never expected that, said Shikamaru. Yeah, you're right, said Shikaku. Time skip. With Tsunade and Hayashi, I will not allow it, said Hayashi. You cannot stop Naruto from coming to the ball. It was the Namikaze's fall ball before the Kayubis attack. Now it is the Fortokage's ball and Naruto has a right to be there. I won't allow it said Hayashi. You disgrace the village by letting those demons in in the first place. Now you want him to come to our most honorable village ball? That is unthinkable said Hayashi. Protest all you want. But it is pointless, the arrangements have already been made. And besides, this happened on top of the Hokage's tower, so I can let whoever I want in. Said Tsunade as Hayashi glared at her. As she was right, she could do anything. As Hayashi was pissed about this. Besides, your own daughter is a demon summoner now. I do not consider that demon my daughter, said Hayashi. Why am I not surprised, said Tsunade. However, it doesn't change the fact that Naruto, Sakura, Shikamaru, and if your daughter show up, they will all be welcome to the ball. You will regret this, Lady Tsunade, said Hayashi as he stormed out of the room. Are you sure this is wise, Lady Hokage? Ah, Shizune. Hayashi is powerful and he knows the law very well. Yes, Sakura and Naruto deserve to have at least one night when they can just be a normal couple, said Tsunade as she looked through the window. As the festival was already being set up, that the Fordokage defeated the Kayube, as it was a memorable moment for the village, and it will always be in history, even though the Kayube is still alive. Meanwhile, across town at the Namikaze estate, it was on lockdown because. Today is a day when the people became more violent because it is his birthday and it is also the day that the Kayubi attacked the village and people might try stupid stuff so Naruto called on 12 more demon fox guards to protect the Namikaze estate. As Sakura got up in the morning as she made the perfect breakfast for Naruto's 17th birthday, as Sakura disabled the alarm clock so Naruto could sleep in. As she was just waiting on the egg. You turned off my alarm, Naruto said a yawn. Damn it Naruto, I am almost finished with your breakfast, Sakura said as Naruto looked over as he saw a jar of broken egg shells as Sakura attempted to try and cook breakfast for him. Why were you making me breakfast, asked Naruto. Well, it is something that my mom always did on my birthday, said Sakura. Ah, said Naruto. Sorry Sakura, but my birthday was never really that good. I know, but maybe we can change that, said Sakura. There is that dance later on tonight. 
and also there will be Anvu everywhere because it's the Hokage Tower and if necessary we can handle a few villagers, said Sakura. I guess, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but this day has always been the worst day for me, Naruto said. As he took a bite out of the breakfast that Sakura had created for him. Believe me, this would be your best birthday ever and just you wait until you get your birthday present, said Sakura. As Naruto stopped eating, as Sakura felt a fear in Naruto because of the mark. What? said Naruto. Oh, sorry, said Naruto. It's just the first birthday present I ever get. It blew up in my face and I spent a week in the hospital. What happened? said Sakura. Oh, when I was five. I woke up and found a present outside my door and I was so happy and when I moved off the lid it exploded on me nearly killing me but because of the Kayube I was able to heal from the injuries said Naruto as tears formed in Sakura eyes someone tried to kill him when he was five as her blood then started boiling rage to kill all of the villagers I am so sorry Naruto, I can't imagine anything worse than being a kid and have that happen to you, said Sakura. It get worse, said Naruto. Well, the other time, they write a note. It said from mom and dad to Naruto. And it explained how my mom and dad hated me and that is why they ran away and left me in the village. When Sakura heard this, she just rushed up to Naruto as she hugged him. Trust me Naruto, this gift will be good, said Sakura, as she gave him a kiss. As the both of them were kissing, as it was turning out into a makeout session, but then, the smoke alarm went off, as Sakura was almost burning down the house with her cooking, as they forgot that the pot was on the stove. As Sakura rushed over and locked it off, I still need to get this cooking thing down, she said, as she dumped another burnt egg into the garbage. Here, let me help. One skill you learn when you live alone is to know how to cook, said Naruto. Across town, Shikamaru was now inside his one bedroom house that he was given by his father. As there was a knock on his door, as he went to open it, as Temari was there, hello little boy, she said. Come on in, Shikamaru said, as he stepped aside, as Temari walked in. Well, Four white walls, a couch, two chairs and a coffee table, said Temari as she looked at Shikamaru. You're a great home decorator. Home decorating is not my thing. Besides, I won't be spending a lot of time here because of my training. True, said Temari. Why are you here, Temari? asked Shikamaru. Well, because I have to go to this dance thing tonight because my brother being the Kazakage and you're also next in line to be the head of your clan, so I think we should go together," said Temari as she looked at Shikamaru. Are you asking me out on a date? He asked her. As Temari nodded, are you surprised that I would make the first move? She asked. Did you expect me to be one of those idiot girls who wait around thinking if he's going to ask me out? She said. As Shikamaru was stuttering, so, do you want to do this or not? She asked. Yes, he said. Alright, meet me at my hotel room at 5. As she placed a hand on his cheek. And make sure you look nice, little boy, she said, making Shikamaru blush. Around 4 o'clock, Sakura finished her shower as she walked out in the bedroom to see Naruto as he was dressed in black pants, black shoes, a white shirt. His black jacket was lying on the bed but at the moment, he was figuring how to put on his tie. However, he was doing a very bad job at it as Sakura walked over and started to get his tie in order. Naruto, you have fought some of the strongest ninjas in the world. You're a Jonin, a demon summoner and yet you can't handle a simple tie, asked Sakura as she finished tying the tie. Never have one before Sakura, said Naruto. As he put on his jacket and looked into the mirror, I still think I look like an idiot. No you don't, said Sakura. You look handsome. I'll take your word for it, Sakura. 
but I feel very stupid, said Naruto. Believe me, now get out so I can get dressed, said Sakura. Okay, but I have seen everything already, Sakura, said Naruto as he walked out. But that was not the reason. Sakura wanted to stun him with her new dress. Later that evening, Snavi sat at the huge table on the Hokage's tower as she was forced by tradition to wear the full Hokage robes. As the massive street party below them raged, the higher-ups came in black tie party on top of the Hokage's tower. Current and future clan leaders and also the strongest businessman and some of the strongest ninjas. And for the first time, the Kazekage has joined the event, so that meant for the first time, the higher ups of the San was there as well. She could see Hayashi already talking to the clan members, including Kasumi, Choza, and Inoichi. All of them, but Inoichi was grinning. What was he planning? Thought Tsunade. As she looked to her right to see Ino and Choji standing with Kiba. Kiba looked like he wanted to rip off his suit, starting with his brown tie. Choji seemed more comfortable. He even looked thinner in his suit. However, Ino looked stunning in her purple dress. This place is so boring, said Ino, as she watched old man and woman talk about politics and business. Imagine it from my point of view. I don't even have a date, said Kiba, as he noticed Choji's arm around Ino's hip. Yeah, too bad that Hinata is gone, said Shikamaru as he walked up in his black suit. But she is doing it for the good of everyone. Well, at least I have you to talk to, said Kiba, since neither one of us have dates. Who said that I didn't have a date? asked Shikamaru. As he looked to his right and smiled, as the others turned to see, Temari walking towards them, dressed like they haven't seen before. She had on a light, orange, strapless dress and showing a lot of cleavage. The silk dress hugged her side before loosening up from the hip down. And it also had a cut to let her leg out. You and Temari? asked Kiba. Yes, dog boy, said Temari with a slight grin as she walked up. Are you surprised that I will go out with a little boy here? She asked. A little, said Kiba. Nice dress, Tamari, said Ino. As Ino then start to talk about different fashion. As Tamari just stood there listening. As it was better than listening to these old geezers. Hello guys. As everyone turned as they saw Naruto and Sakura walking up. As Sakura was dressed in her best. As she had on. A red dress that hugged her tightly. The front of the dress was a deep V-cut and she had on high heels. As Tsunade couldn't help but smiling as for one night the younger generation was enjoying themselves as no one was worrying about the demon war that's coming as they can just be kids enjoying themselves. Alright everyone please take your seat said Hayashi as Hayashi took a seat right beside Snavi as Snavi noticed that Naruto, Temari, Shikamaru and Sakura were sent to the very back table. Hayashi must have pulled strings and get Naruto and the others in the back table. Thoughts Snavi as a food start to be delivered to each table. As Naruto and Sakura and Shikamaru and Temari didn't let this phase them as they just talk until a sound of someone hitting a glass as everyone turned around. As it was Tsunade, I would like to thank everyone for coming at the Fort Okage's ball, said Tsunade. It is my honor to announce the first time the son of the Fort Okage, Naruto Namikaze, has joined us, said Tsunade. Naruto, can you please stand? As Naruto stood up, as a few people clapped, and most of them didn't even look at Naruto. Now since this is a Namikaze ball and most of us older generation would like to keep sitting and talking, why don't we let the younger generation have the first dance? No one objective as the Rookie 12 and some others 
went on the dance floor as Sakura dragged Naruto to the dance floor as well. As the dance floor then slowed down as Sakura placed her head on Naruto's chest. As much as I hate to say it, they look good together, said Tasumi as she watched Naruto and Sakura. Let the demons have each other, said Hayashi as him, Tasumi and Choza stood next to each other at the back with a glass of wine in their hands. We will take away what he really wants most, said Hayashi. I am still not sure that the others will go with this Hayashi, said Choza. We will need to play bright or do you guys want a demon to be in high position in the leaf, said Hayashi. And none of the others want him in this village no more than us, said Hayashi. As Tasumi nodded. But sadly, there is no law that we can kick him out for now. But soon, Hayashi said, as he knew that Naruto wasn't doing anything that would jeopardize the village for him to kick Naruto out and they could come to a vote like that. Then we will do it, said Hayashi. Tomorrow, we will start looking for the new Hokage and we will make sure that Naruto Namikaze never touch the Hokage robes said Hayashi as he finished his glass of wine. Little later, the older generation went off as all of them went to bed as the younger generation was still going strong but Naruto and Sakura was gone as Shikamaru and Temari had the last dance. As fireworks start to fly over their head, this is nice, said Temari. Yeah, and I am sorry if this is wrong, said Shikamaru as Temari looked up confused. But she got her answer when Shikamaru kissed her. As Shikamaru was smiling in his mind as Temari started to kiss him back. About time that happened, said Ino and Choji as they stood by the exit. I wonder why Sakura and Naruto left before us. I thought she would have wanted to stay to the end, asked Choji as Ino grinned. What is it? said Choji. Let's just say that Sakura has a present for Naruto and she wants to give it to him, said Ino. What? asked Choji. Let's just say I helped Sakura pick out a set of sexy lingerie, said Ino as Choji grinned. I see, he said with a small blush. Wait, you said Pierre. There are more use for shadow clones instead of combat, Choji, said Ino as Choji didn't want to imagine what the both of them were doing. But guys, we'll be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform. And yeah guys, go ahead and check out Anime King 2. I post a new episode of Naruto, the God of Shinobi over there. And also, what if Naruto got a new bloodline? So check out those and enjoy. And thank you for all of your help and your support. And also check out what if Naruto was taken by the Raikage. But for now, I'm out of here guys. Peace.